about me. I care about my people. So it's for me to stand up and God forbid I step on someone's toes while I'm out. Concerning me, I have a deep concern for my people, so I must speak up. And while I'm at it, I'm not holding back when it comes to revealing how music industry heavyweights went full on demonic to construct the current order. They seem to have been responsible for the untimely deaths of two of the biggest rap legends of our time, Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls. For many, however, West's revelations were truly shocking because they raised a question that has long been one of show business's most sinister secrets, who removed Tupac and Biggie. The rapper's most recent revelation about the industry's darkest side could be the reason for the untimely deaths of Pac and Biggie. The story appears to be older than we realize. Ray West, West's dear father, was involved in the expose game long before West came forward and stirred things up. Ray has been trying to expose the real Hollywood picture for as long as Yeezy has been around. Ray was a member of the Black Panther Party and has been fighting for the rights of black people for as long as he can remember. The man has a preference to avoid the spotlight and has rarely granted interviews. Ray West, who has been residing in the Dominican Republic, is now supporting his son's assertions regarding the rap industry's fame and how the highest levels of authority kept Biggie and Pass alive in spite of possible risks. West is determined to show the world the truth. He said, I'm not going to cancel myself. I'm going to keep delivering what I feel because, guess what? There are a lot of differing opinions. There have also been rumors that he and Poke have been conspiring to overthrow certain Hollywood industry executives, which is why Biggie asked Poke to become his mentor. An insider explained that both artists were on the verge of changing the rap game, and with their combined influence, they had every opportunity to achieve that. The source further stated that Tupac took Biggie under his wing, sort of took him to school, and since his career wasn't taking off as quickly as he had hoped, he actually asked Tupac to be his manager. The issue is that it appears that a leak of their plans caused both rappers to go off course, which was handled rather harshly when the investigation encountered a roadblock. The Vegas Police Department did their due diligence and found the truth, making them the current defenders of black people's rights. In the same way that the industry sought to deal with Pass and his friend Beggy, Wes is now claiming that his father informed him that Tupac had a vision, a mission, if you will, to change the game for artists together. Ray West and his well-known son are on a mission to lay it all out for the world to see. The rapper, who was born in Atlanta, is well aware of the game. Pac and Biggie Smalls had cracked the code to take over the commercial distribution of music. During their time, they were scheming to snatch that big juicy pie away from those record label execs, and that's apparently why the bigwigs wanted to obliterate Watt and Biggie for everything they were. Cooking up under the table having these two rise to the new heights of success was kind of dangerous, and that's why they had to tragically meet their end in separate shooting incidents with no one claiming. To be behind it didn't say nothing, didn't yell nothing, just but guys we already know about these two rap legends to state that they weren't afraid of changes right before his demise Biggie had plans to leave his bad boy label for a better deal, and Pac signed contract with Shug Knight, but alas neither. Of them did get to execute their grand plans, and after hearing West's revelations, many people are seeing why as one person commented Tupac was legendary people listen to him he spoke since. I think if he was still here, things would be different today. And another user added, if Pac was still alive, half these rappers would have never been known well to Pac. Still has a lot of influence on the musicians, and even some of the big names in rap game are praising his talent and charisma. We are left, wondering why such a horrible thing had to happen to the rapper. And in the most recent plot twist of the saga, things have taken a different turn. The news flash that dropped like a bombshell revealed that they had finally made an arrest after searching for months or even years after the Pac shooting. It seems that even the police are getting closer to solving this mystery that people all over the world have been wanting to solve. Even Eminem used to tell me how intelligent and educated Pac was. I used to be fascinated by his interviews, thinking that with such a large fan base, the rapper could easily take down all the notorious figures if he ever had the time for it. d Davis, better known by his street name, 
Hedi became the first arrested figure in this high-profile crime. However, even Shji Knight is pointing out that the police has got the wrong guy. Well, you know that Diddy's been at the center of this whole circus from day one, and he's had his share of run-ins with investigators. It's like he's got a permanent beef seat in the post, and Biggie drama, and everything he can say in his defense, that these allegations are nothing more than a rubbish talk all this is. Fake everything's been hidden, everything that you know is a lie. But guys, it's not like lap detectives are getting their money for playing cards the whole day they've been closing on a potential suspect. In this crime for years as now, retired detective Greg Kading said Puffy is believed to have coughed up a whopping million to have the rap legend from the West Coast taken out the motive this alleged epic rap feud between him and Biggie Smalls, which we already know never happened Kading even said that. A Diddy had some serious connections to gangs in LA and allegedly got a Crips gang member Dwayne Davis. You know the man who's arrested to do the dirty work. And of course, Tupac's name came up and he was kind of added kind of a very vague discussion over money. And next thing you know, Vass happens. And guys, it's not just West the police and lap detectives, also expecting foul play in the whole story. As Katie mentioned, it's got to be a big conspiracy because Tupac and Biggie were just too important. Two, to pass away at the hands of some effing gangster, while the spotlight was supposed to be squarely on Diddy for his alleged role in this pack in Biggie's drama. The music mogul had to defend himself from numerous attacks, and apparently he ran out of auctions like the last attempt to save himself was Diddy's Kano with Poe's brother, where he begged not to rat him out, but with West's recent accusations, did he may sleep tightly night, whether he did or didn't participate in organizing pass in Biggie's. Eliminations, one thing is certain, he is currently the most prominent figure in hip-hop. Shady's controversial decisions, combined with his own artists, have all become Diddy's routine. Negative propaganda has been spread about me that is untrue. And for people like West, such an order is unacceptable. The stronger singer is known for voicing strong opinions and causing controversy. As Wes is now saying that Biggie and the other artists' silence combined with Poe's initial claims made the situation quite sinister for other black artists. Even such a notorious and dangerous figure like Shay Knight is keeping hush-hush on the entire crime mystery, declaring that he won't go on the stand and testify 1,000 times. Elites and handlers will keep profiting from this and in the world like this, honest people like Wes are lab as crazy talkers and lunatics. But when I see when I see that bro, I'm telling you, you know the declaration of insanity is a form of censorship and control. Now let's see what happens next. Because with West revealing the industry's dirty little secrets, all bigwigs and power holders are squirming in their seats, waiting for the next exposing chapter. And if you check the comments people leave us and social media, it looks like the game might be changing and some big names are going to be dethroned. As one person commented so true people, just don't notice about the rap in and another user added they all hated Tupac because if Tupac was around, none of them would have been rich as they are now well. It looks like Wes again stirred the epicenter of controversy and there's actually truth behind his words. And now I have a million dual question for you guys. Do you think that peace and biggie shooting G were orchestrated by the industry giants and were they sacrificed to pave way for other rappers? Please share your opinions in the space provided below and don't forget to watch my other videos.